Hey guys, it's Tom, and I'm going to show you what to do if you want to sidechain compress your bass. So it's really easy. I'll let you listen before and after. So we have our bass, we have our sidechained bass, and then we have a drum beat. So let's have a listen. It's going to be before and after. So as you can see that's really boring and that's got a lot more bounce. Really easy to do, so let's delete this track and start from scratch. So what we're left with is our bass line. Let's just duplicate that. So what we want to do is every time the kick drum plays, we dip the volume of that and let it bounce back after the kick drum. Our issue is we have a drum loop that's all mixed together so it's kick, snare and hi-hats as you can hear so we're going to need to filter a few things so the first thing to do is we root the drums into the bass we don't want it to come out through 1 and 2 because then it will play in the normal audio as we can hear so what we do we root it to tracks 3 and 4. This means that it won't play through. Now all we need to do is add a compressor. Compressor, let's choose Recomp, which is Reaper's default compressor. And we don't want the bass to trigger it, we want the drums. So auxiliary input, which is channels 3 and 4. As you can see, it goes up with the drums. So we want only the bass drum to play. So we know the bass drum has the lowest frequencies, so we can drop this down to about 100 hertz, and so only the bass drum will play through. And you'll see the green bars go up every time the bass drum plays. So what we want to do is let the bass drum trigger it. So we drop the threshold to below where the bass drum is. Now every time the green bars go over this, it will trigger the compressor and we want to compress it with a ratio above 1 to 1. So let's just go to 5. And this bar shows how much compression is being applied, notice it goes up every time this green bar exceeds the threshold knob. And now it's a simple case of adjusting the threshold and the ratio to taste. There's a few other things we can do. We can play with the release. The longer the release, the longer it takes for it to bounce back and the converse also applies. We could do the attack, but the attack's pretty good as it is there. So let's have a listen. And that's it, sidechain compressed. So let's render it and have a look at the waveform. So what we can do is delete the old track and zoom in. So we can see here, this bit here is the kick drum and every time the kick drum plays it dips the volume and every time the kick drum isn't playing, the volume will increase. And there you have it, sidechain compression.